Hey guys, Deer Hunter DVM here. I wanted to share with you guys a real quick, um, just a really unique, really, really unique piece of trail camera video that I was able to capture last weekend. Um, I've been keeping my eye on this, what I think is a uh, leucistic red tail hawk. He's almost all white. And at first, when I got to seeing this bird when we were turkey hunting down there. I've seen him for two or three years in a row. Um, I thought, man, I don't really want to get a phone scope video of him, try and bird watch like a pro, right? Well, I'm not very good at it because every time I try it, he sees my ass coming from a mile away because I've got only one access and it's just, he can see me. Um, but I saw him on um, like New Year's or the day after and uh, he was out bouncing around this waterway for an unusual amount of time. I could see him from the road and I drove by there once, looking at deer in the morning, and drove by there again later in the day and I saw him out there and I'm like, he's onto a deer carcass, right? I, and I've photographed white, um, I photographed some bald eagles and such before over, over deer carcasses. Well, I go over there thinking there's gonna be a dead deer and sure enough, I, I totally blow it. I was gonna try and get a scope video of him this time and, he sees me, takes off flying like he always does, but it's a um, a rabbit kill site. The farmer had brought, uh, had tiled that, all the length of that field where he can fly, and uh, it, there's these big brush, like dozer piles at the very end of these grass waterways now, and it's like primo perfect rabbit habitat for him, and it ain't no wonder why he was, he's been roosting in, in those trees where I see him all the time now. Um, he's out there poaching everything that comes in and out of those brush piles, man. It was wild. I I got up there to the site, and there's just a little bit of hair coming off this rabbit, and he's stiff, like maybe he got killed really early in the morning. Um, it, but anyway, crazy, crazy deal. I wind up going home and getting a, a, a just a Browning trail camera and a tripod, and I staked it in the ground so the wind wouldn't blow it over. And I thought, oh, maybe I'll check it in another... No, week or so. I didn't have a whole lot of hope to getting him on it again. I, I figured something come along and take it, but wouldn't you know, he came right back and perched right on it. It was awesome. Later in the, he, he eats and feeds for several minutes here, and later uh, in the night after sundown, um, some damn raccoons come up and find it and steal it from him. But he comes back a day or two later and kind of finishes off some of it that's just off camera. But uh, what a cool deal, man. Um, this. These trail cameras aren't just for like chasing down big bucks, being a killer, you know. You can use them to really observe some cool wildlife stuff that nobody has ever seen in their lives. Like this is ultra rare and it's super, super fun to just have an imagination with a trail camera and put it on different wildlife things. So um, I'm really fortunate here. I really am blessed with those images. Really, really cool stuff. I'll do another video later about, um, like, the the science of leucism and how rare it is and why it's rare and where it's more common in in uh, kind of in the world versus less. It's, it's cool stuff. Cool, cool stuff here. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, Deer Hunter DVM. Catch you on down the road.